We are going to identify how many solutions and what are the solutions of the following. 7x is congruent to 3 mod 10. 8x is congruent to 3 mod 10. And last, 8x is congruent to 2 mod 10. Basis A of x is congruent to b mod n has a solution if and only if the greatest common divisor of A and N is a divisor of B. So, number 1. 7x is congruent to 3 mod 10. Ang una na itong mga pangitaon, kayang iyang greatest common divisor. So, the greatest common divisor of 7 and 10 is 1, which divides 3. Since, ang atong greatest common divisor k1, we only have one unique solution. So, karon, kuhaon na to ang value sa x. So, dili man ta makalargo na mag-divide og 7 both sides, kaya makakuha ta og fraction nga answer. So, ang atong bahaton, either mag-minus ta or mag-add. So, 3 minus 10 which is the modulo 10 equals negative 7 which is divisible by 7 or pwede sa pili on ninyo ang addition which is 3 plus 10 equals 13 13 plus 10 equals 23 and so on until nga makuha ninyo ang 63 which is divisible by 7 pilian lang ninyo anong tuwa kung unsa inyong kuha on either negative 7 or 63 if maka choose na mo if maka pili na mo ilisan lang ninyo ang value sa 3 so ang akong gipili is negative 7 so we have 7x is congruent to negative 7 mod 10 divide both sides by 7 so we have x is congruent to negative 1 mod 10. So as much as possible, himuon na ito siyang positive. So para ma-positive siya, plusan na ko siya og 10. Which is negative 1 plus 10 equals 9. So ang final answer na ito ani guys, is x congruent to 9 mod 10. Next, 8x is congruent to 3 mod 10. The greatest common divisor of 8 and 10 is 2. And 2 does not divide 3. So therefore, there is no solution. So inana lang siya kadali guys. Ayaw na ninyo pugsa. Ayaw na ninyo pugsa. Kay dili ni mo siya mapugus. So number 3. 8x is congruent to 2 mod 10. The greatest common divisor of 8 and 10 is 2. Which divides 2. Since our greatest common divisor is 2, we have 2 solutions. Now, we divide both sides by 2 to reduce. So we have 4x is congruent to 1 mod 5. So guys, ito nang kuhaon ng value sa x. So again guys, dili na ito siya pwede i-divide o 4 largo kaya makakuha ito fraction. So ang atong button, at ito na punta sa subtraction of addition. So since ganin nagipili na ko ang subtraction, karon pili on na sad na ko ang addition. Which is 1 plus 5 equals 6. 6 plus 5 equals 11 and 11 plus 5 equals 16. Taman sa makuha ni mo ang number nga divisible by 4. So mao na din may mong i-ilis sa 1. Or ipuli. Siyempre, ilisan yun na ito siya, no? 
ug much better para dili ta magresod. So 4x is congruent to 16 mod 5. Divide both sides by 4. So we have x is congruent to 4 mod 5. Si 4 dai guys kay one of the solutions. So pangitaon nato ang isa nato ka solution. Na ipinakasayon nga pamaagi guys para makuha nato ang isa ka value. Which is adan lang nato siya og 5. So 4 plus 5 equals 9 mod 10. Na po isa ka pamaagi which is x equals 4 plus 10 divided 2 times k x equals 4 plus 5k so kana si k, k guys bisag unsa ra na siya nga number as long as makuha nimo ang solution so when k is 0 so our x is 4 when k is 1 our x is 9 so pwede lang ka magpadayon guys no pero ang ang kuha lang nato is ang value nga sulod sa modulo 10 so our two solutions are x is congruent to 4 mod 10 and x is congruent to 9 mod 10. That's all guys. Thank you for watching.